Today I'm going back in time to play some old Sega games and get platinum for Sonic's Ultimate Genesis Collection. The game is, as the name says, a collection of games that were on the Genesis. For the trophies, I'll need to play each of the games and complete the requirements in them. With only 35 trophies, let's jump right into it. For the first trophy called Get Rich, I have to play... and I need to collect 1,000 in currency. To get the currency, I need to defeat enemies and open chests. In the chest are coins or bags. Collecting the coins gives me 10, and collecting the bags give me 100. This was no sweat, since I just needed to open these three chests, destroy this car, and underneath the car was a secret hole. In the hole was more currency. It's not the amount I need, but I have to die and respawn. When I die, it saves my amount, so I'm all good. So I just keep repeating the process until I get 1,000. I grabbed this trophy while I wasn't recording, so it, nothing popped. Next is don't die. For this trophy, I need to play and reach mission 3 without dying. Selecting a character, I put into mission 1 where I need to save the people. Alien Storm is one of those fighting games where you take out the enemies on the screen and keep moving forward. There are a lot of those games in this collection, I'd say this is one of the better ones. Finishing mission 1, I went into mission 2 where I had to expel the alien. It was the same as mission 1 except there was a boss at the end. Don't mind that death though, uh, I had to re-record since I got the trophy the same day I got the Get Rich trophy, so we don't worry about that. After the boss, it put me in a running section, which I just dodged and shot my way through. Once that was over, it was mission 3 where the trophy would pop. Now I could go through every trophy like the first two I just went through, but a lot of these trophies are very similar and kind of repetitive, so I'm going to do a speed run through all the trophies that gave me no trouble. Three, two, one, go! To get this, I just need to hit these three blue walls, get their orbs, and become a Sigma. After, I fought the boss and got my 100,000 points. This game was kind of like The Legend of Zelda. First, I took out these guys and then checked out my teacher. He said to talk to my family and check about the attack. Talking to my dad, he sent me to get the Water Spirit. The Water Spirit was at a temple, which going into the temple was a bunch of enemies, and taking them all out unlocked the Water Spirit. All I did was slam this guy into a door, which gave me a thousand points each time I did it. Literally just complete the first episode of the game. Each of these coins were in the first three levels. The first was 1-1, under the start. Second was a little to the left before the end of 1-1. Third was in 1-2, at the very top of the level. Fourth was in 1-3, at the bottom of these left-facing arrows. And the fifth was back before the fourth, a little bit higher. I just sent another sonar wave toward another dolphin and got it. I kept going left, and then I kept going right, and eating any fish that was in my path. I went through mission 1 and I had to defeat a helicopter. Then in mission 2, I kept dying to the final boss. Turn around, I'm pressing... Don't stand up. Stop, like, I'm literally not pushing up. Eventually, I got him. Oh my gosh, finally. I had to collect all these yellow birds and take them to the exit to get points. As I played, I also had to avoid cats. Getting all the little birds in one go gave me the most amount of points. I had to get to a point where these little squirrel people would show up and then I hit them until they dropped power up. I kept doing this till I got 20. To get to the tower level, I had to beat the two previous levels, then get to the tower and beat it. Like Golden Axe 1, I had to hit the squirrel people to get power-ups, but I need to use the powers instead of picking them up. So each time I picked it up, I just used it, until I used it 10 times. I had to get to level 4 and get underneath the start. This is where Maniacs was, which was in a little block. It was basically just Jason Voorhees. <laughs> In level 1, I have to go to these dandelions and hang on to them until they bring me to the top. Where on top of the cliff is a chest. In the chest is a star. I then die and repeat this four more times, getting me the trophy. Uh, using a cheat code, I was able to give myself a lot of lives, so this was no struggle to get through. 
I sprayed and prayed and hoped I got to 1,500,000. I just played a character and quit, and played a character and quit, and played a character and quit. To unlock Rue, I had to beat the first level, and then in the second level, I had to fight a clown and Rue, but I only had to defeat the clown. The photons were these little white balls, which I just had to go through the levels until I found 500. Not a problem. I put in a cheat code that would immediately put me in Sector 11. Some of these I just put cheat codes in because the gameplay was not to my style. The map was randomly generated and I had to find stairs on each level while also avoiding the enemies or attacking them. Luckily on stairs 4 and 5 they were close to each other so I was able to get this done pretty quick. After all those trophies I went and opened and closed all the games to get the last process and looked at all the artworks to get pretty. Game! Whew. Okay, that was a lot, but there are still 10 more trophies I need to get. And these next two were the hardest ones to get. Easy as pie and yada. Easy as pie wanted me to play columns and get 20,000 points on easy mode, and yada wanted me to complete Dr. Robotnik's Mean Bean Machine. Going into columns, you would think playing on easy mode would be easy, but I struggled for a while. To play columns, you need to match three colors to get points. More than three gets you more points. Each time the blocks come down, they come in three blocks, which can be switched around. It's like Tetris without the different shapes. Now, the problem I had was trying to match the colors while it sped up. I was stuck getting around 7,000 points until I found out I could actually pause it and think about my next move. After I found that out, I was getting closer. I got 11,000, 16,000, and 17,000. Eventually, I got to 20 pounds. Now, Columns was hard, but not the worst. What was the worst was Dr. Robotnik's Mean Bean Machine. To get the Yada Trophy, I had to complete the game. Luckily, there is a cheat code that allowed me to skip the last level. Now, I know I could probably do it normally, but the cheat code saves so much time, and there's also other games I want to try. Now, since I was able to skip to the last level, I was able to go against Dr. Robotnik. And let me tell you, this wasn't fun. To play it, it was just like Column and Tetris. You match the colors and get points. What's different though is you use beans in sets of two and have to match four while also going against AI. The AI is the dumbest part. It's always finding ways to get beans that block you off. On my first attempt, I kind of had something going and then I lost. I was even so close this one time and then he found a way. Oh my gosh, no. No. It's whoever loses first. It's whoever loses first. It's not me. No, no. I played this game for about two hours. Hours. I was just miserable. They don't give up yet. Oh, I couldn't rotate it. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Look at bro. Look at bro. Because we're moving so damn fast that we're gonna say, now you can, you can, you can, you can. Thanks for placing it right there. I, I really appreciate that game. Even though I'm trying to move to the left and the right, but he's like, eh. Until I got lucky. I was finally able to beat him and get the Yada trophy. <gasps> yes! Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Yada. After those two trophies, I saved the best games for last. I played the original Sonic the Hedgehog, where my ears were blessed with its magical music. The trophy I needed to get in the original Sonic the Hedgehog was called Complete Chaos. I needed to obtain a Chaos Emerald. To do this, I needed to collect 50 rings in the first level, and then at the end, jump over the sign and into the giant ring behind it. This took me to a bonus stage, which looked like someone was taking drugs while making it. The emerald was in here, but blocked by these gems. I had to hit them a couple times, and then grab the emerald, giving me the trophy. On to Sonic 2. Now Sonic 2 doesn't give me a trophy, but I need to complete it to unlock an extra. Now to unlock this extra, I just need to beat the final boss with the second controller. After beating the boss with the two controllers, I unlocked everything, getting me the Master of the System trophy. And since everything was unlocked, I watched all the videos and played all the arcade titles, getting me blast processing and only in the 80s. Sonic 3 was a breeze. First, I had to change the save to make it to where I only play as Tails, and then collect 100 rings. 
Next was Sonic Spinball, where I needed to get 10 million points. This took me some time, but it wasn't too bad. I just had to open these hatches, which inside had emerald. Each emerald gave me 500,000 points. And then after, I just bounced around for a bit until I was at 9 million. After reaching 9 million, I went for the final emerald, getting me my 10 million points. Lastly, to end the video, I played Sonic 3D Blast. For the trophy though, I needed to collect 20 Flickies. Now Flickies are these little birds. This was pretty easy. I just went around destroying enemies, then picking up the Flickies and depositing them in the rings. Once I got my 20th one and deposited it, that was it. That's it for this video. I enjoyed playing these older games, some less than others, but it was still fun. Playing this makes me want to get platinum for all the Sonic games. So if you would like to see that, let me know by subscribing and liking the video. And with all that being said, I hope you enjoyed and I'll catch you in the next video. See ya. Sega.